This kind of graph is pretty alarming to me. It's what happens when a custom function spirals out of control when a workflow rule isn't configured correctly. You can see that historically they've used about 2,000 functions per day and then suddenly today 40,000 functions have been used, which is the entire budget that they have for the function limit. It means that all other functions won't actually work anymore because it's used all of the credits. The reason isn't that they have imported a lot of data. The reason is that there's a workflow rule which is configured in a way which is a little bit dangerous in my opinion. You can see here that the conditions are when an opportunity is created or edited. And actually what's happening in this function here is it's editing a deal. So we're getting this infinite loop. We've only had 58 deals or 59 deals created in the last 24 hours, or in the last 48 hours even, but we've had over 10,000 executions of this function, which is causing three API calls, using up a ton of data and maxing out the function limit. What we should be doing if we want to have a function like this, which is copying data from the contact into the deal, is the workflow rule should have conditions on it. Instead of executing it for all opportunities, we should be executing it only if, for example, this field here, which we're using to copy data from the contact into the deal, we can have the conditions like this. That will make it safer. As an aside, even though I don't like the way this is configured and it's a bit dangerous, I, I don't really understand why it suddenly became an issue because this has been set up like that for ages. I have a feeling that Zoho is actually screwed up and where it has zoho.crm.update record, that shouldn't have actually triggered a workflow rule update. It should have only triggered a workflow rule to fire if it had been like this. They don't have this trigger workflow. It doesn't really make sense that an update would have re-triggered it. I think Zoho has unleashed a bug on us. But in the meantime, we need to be mindful about the potential for danger from a workflow rule that is set up with create or edit without any conditions. I highly recommend that you change your workflow rules so that if they look like this right now, that they later have a relevant condition in place.